Hello everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are going to be making something from the unofficial Universal Studios cookbook. And that is going to be Egg White Florentine. Um, so I've been to Universal Studios, but I have not had the Egg White Florentine, so I won't be able to compare, um, but hopefully it'll taste good anyways. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get some ciabatta rolls. Um, I did find some in the frozen section at Walmart, but they come with cheese already on them. And it's just one side of the loaf. Um, it makes six, which I needed actual six rolls. So I just cut them in half. So these are gonna be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Okay, so you can do that, or you can just buy some ciabatta rolls yourself, um, put a little bit of olive oil and toast them in a skillet until they're a little bit of golden brown. When you get those done, you're gonna take the one side of the ciabatta roll and you're gonna put some basil pesto, pesto, sorry, basil pesto on there. And then you're gonna go on to the next step, which is going to be using three or four large egg whites. Um, and then you're gonna, you're supposed to, so it makes one at a time. I'm making six at a time. So you're gonna go ahead and make four large egg whites and get my stove to light. There it goes, okay. So um, four large egg whites and just add some salt and pepper in there and kind of stir it up a little bit. And then you're just going to cook them in a skillet. Now I am using the rings to try to keep them separate. Um, you know, if you're only making one of these like the recipe says, then you know, you can just go ahead and just use one skillet. So it's four large egg whites per um, egg quarantine that you're making, which I think is a lot. Okay, so we're just gonna spray these down here a little. And then each one of these, hopefully we won't have any leakage. Whew, that is a lot, that is making way more than even the ring can handle. Okay. We're gonna have egg whites all over the place. They're spreading out from underneath of there. Okay, so usually it would say you wouldn't use the rings, you would just cook this, um, and then you would uh, flip the egg in half when you put it on the bun. Um, I think today we're just gonna have a bunch of uh, egg whites here because they're running out from under the rings. The rings are not sealing them in, but that's okay. Okay, so once you get your egg whites and your rings, you're gonna go ahead and let them cook for about three to four minutes on one side and then flip them over. Now, if you're using rings like me, hopefully you'll be able to just pull the rings out. I get the feeling that these rings are not gonna seal very well and I'm just going to have a bunch of egg whites all over the pan. <laughs> we're gonna have one big flat egg white, which will be fun. But as soon as I get these done, I'll be right back and we'll get these all set up. Okay, you guys, so once you get the um, eggs done, which it made a huge mess because the rings did not keep it in there, but that's okay. So once you have the eggs all done, then you're gonna go ahead and top the, put them on top of the pesto that you put on the one bun. Um, and then you're just gonna immediately slap a slice of sharp cheddar cheese on there. Okay, which like I said, these rolls are a lot smaller than they're supposed to be, so. We're gonna have a lot of overhang, but that's okay. Told y'all, I'll make a mess in the kitchen. It's just the way I cook. And this is what I get for trying to do things the easy way. If I would've just bought the rolls, did it myself, it would've worked out better, but that's all right. Hopefully it'll still taste good. Okay, then after you put the cheese on, let me get this put in here. You're gonna go ahead and take and put some tom um, tomato sauce on top of that. This looks like it's just gonna roll right off of here. Okay. It's supposed to be two tablespoons of tomato sauce per sandwich. Since mine's so small, I don't know that I'm gonna fit that much on there, but that's okay. Okay. Right. And then on top of the tomato sauce, you're gonna go ahead and put some fresh baby spinach on. And it says about a quarter cup per sandwich again. 
I'm just going to place them on there. Spinach kind of sticks to the tomato sauce and holds it on, so that's good. Okay, and then you're gonna top it with the other bun. And you have a nice egg Florentine from Universal Studios. Mine is very messy. Hopefully your buns will be much bigger and not as messy. But we'll give this a try and see how it tastes. Mm. That's really good, you guys. Mm. I didn't think I would like it with the spinach and the basil pesto in there, but it's actually a really good combination. Love it. All right, so that's it for today. This is the unofficial universal cookbook for egg white Florentine. And hope you guys enjoy your day or your night, whichever one it is. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And we'll see you later. Bye.